Winter cold weather. Holy crap. Minus 30? It's minus 30 out there today, Martha. Go out and shovel the driveway. I ain't getting up. That's what it's like. It's crazy. Like total freezing frozen tundra. So we got to stay inside. All right. I wanted to bring you a Saturday video because I felt inspired to do so. This is Paul's personal epistles, and I'm going to read the introduction to 1 Timothy, and I'll show you the framework on camera. All right. Paul's letters to Timothy and Titus are concerned with conduct and service. Not only are they given instructions for their own guidance, but rules are laid down for the selection and service of elders or supervisors and servants. These two classes were officially recognized and appointed and their functions defined. Besides this, there are exhortations for all the various classes in the Ecclesia, old and young, the rich and the dependent, widow and slaves. Indeed, these epistles contain the constitution of the church, or Ecclesia, which, you know, he puts church in there, but it's Ecclesia, the called out ones, the out called ones. The second epistle to Timothy is especially applicable to the last days, showing whom and what to avoid and with whom we may associate. Philemon makes most gracious provision for these in bondage to believing masters. As a guide and understanding the great contrast between Paul's two epistles to Timothy, it is important to know when the first epistle, first epistle was penned. If it was written to Timothy, in Ephesus, while Paul was went to Macedonia, we have no situation corresponding to it in the book of Acts. And it is difficult to understand why the instructions given should be needed in, e in Ephesians or Ephesus, where Paul had labored so long and which had the benefit of his personal superintendence for years. If we reserve and situa the situation and send Timothy to Macedonia to the Ecclesias, from which Paul had been driven before he could set them in order and to which he dared not go on peril of his life. Every precept in the epistle is full to the point and we have circumstances which exactly correspond in Acts chapter 19 verse 22. This, this places the epistle at the second crisis in the apostles ministry. Acts chapter 19 verse 21, Romans 15 19, and 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16. His second epistle was written after the third and final crises. This places a great gap between them, which accounts for the vast differences in the aspect of affairs. In the first epistle, we have the ecclesia described as God's house, the pillar uh, and base of the truth. In chapter 3, verse 15. In the second, it has become a great house with utensils of various kinds, both honorable and base. Chapter 2, verse 20. In the first, the pristine power of faith holds all together. This is 1 Timothy. In the second, the dominant note is apostasy or the falling away the apostasy. So there you go. That is the introduction to 1 Timothy. <clears throat> and the framework of it is right here. Complex reversion with alterations. Okay, I'll show it to you on camera. There you go. That's the framework to 1 Timothy in the concordant commentary. So that's beautiful right there. So we will continue Monday with the start of this first Timothy in Concord in the Concordant Commentary. Great. I love doing Saturday videos once in a while here and there, you know, because you know you get inspired, you get up. I watch Mike Knotts this morning, I watch a few other videos. Like it, it's just tremendous. You know, you get the spiritual inspiration, you wake up and you stand up in spirit and you enjoy your allotment now. And this is what enjoying your allotment now means. It's focusing on that which is above and study of the scriptures and reading, 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 reading. I've read so much over the years and my library of 1500 books, like, wow. So God has graced me and blessed me over blessing 
and overwhelming blessing of his grace to get through these tough times in this wicked eon. We all stand every day. We still breathe in these mortal frames. So we are given the blessing of grace to walk in the grace of God and recognize our place and our allotment that we're coming into. So happy Saturday. Have a wonderful one and we will see you Monday.